guys. Um, oh, good shit. I'm sorry, it's fucking hella cold out. Or hot out. My bad. What is it? Cold out. It ain't winter yet. But, uh, this has to do with the post from earlier and a lot of what you guys are saying on it. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a very legitimate reason as to why I'm leaving the music scene. And it's not just because of what's going on with me, you know, doctor-wise. It's more or less something that's been going on for several years that I do want to talk about. And I know some of you are like, oh, I need to ignore the comments and stuff. And generally, you'd be right. And at first, I did. But what you guys don't realize is that it's not just one time. It's an everyday thing. Like, imagine waking up to seeing negative comments from record labels and people in general for 10 years on all your stuff. Imagine how that would make you feel mentally all the time. This is something I've been dealing with for many years now, and I've tried to hide it. I tried to, you know, be like, hey, like, I need to get past this. But honestly, it's to the point to where I cannot avoid it anymore. All okay? right? These negative comments, like the ones you guys saw in the screenshots from my earlier post, that's the kind of shit I deal with every day. And it's gotten worse and worse over the years. A lot worse. I've had people telling me to go kill myself over the years. I've had people telling me that, you know, I don't belong, that, you know, I'm shitty and... Like, I've had all these people saying this stuff, and for what reason they're saying it, I don't think I'll ever know. But these are the kinds of people that I face every day. And as for the record labels and their comments on my stuff, it's because of my physical appearance. They don't like how I physically look. And no, I'm not going to hide who I look. Like, I don't hide who I am. But imagine taking negative criticism from not only random people, but from almost every record label in the country. Just bashing and belittling you every day for 10 years. That's what my life has been like for the last 10 years. Just every day I wake up, I record, I do my thing. And yeah, I've had a lot of people enjoy my work. But on the same token, I've had even more people just completely tear me, just tear me down and apart. Like I don't even, like I don't even fucking matter. And I know you guys are probably sitting there saying, well, you know, you shouldn't let negative comments on the internet get you. They're only comments. Yeah, they might just be comments, but over time, that stuff builds up more and more and more and more. And I know what you guys are saying. You know, just block them, delete them, get rid of them. Here's the thing, though. Every fucking person that has ripped on my shit since day one has made several accounts and they keep doing this if i block one account they make a new one and it keeps going it's a never-ending cycle and that's what you guys don't realize that it's a never-ending cycle they're never going to stop they purposely create accounts randomly by random to do evil shit like this And it's an everyday thing. And it doesn't just happen to me. It's happened to, um, 
if you guys watch uh, catfish's trolls um, catfish internet trolls uh, it's kind of like catfish but it deals around you know trolls on the internet um, one of the guys that actually was on the catfish TV show actually is the one that is doing the show he's the host of it good show I actually watched it um, one of my favorite youtubers and gamers actually was featured on the first episode of that, which I thought was really interesting because I do watch her content quite a bit. She's got some amazing stuff. But it happens to people like her all the time. It's not just music artists. It's people in general. People like her go through it every day. These people are relentless. They will not stop. Is they gather their little friends and they make random accounts together to do this type of shit. To go on there, bash on people, make people feel down, lonely, destroyed. They do whatever they can to break that person down to the lowest point that they can break them down. To. And sometimes a lot of these people that do troll don't realize that the people that they're bashing do think about suicide because of that. And I'm no exception. I've been there myself. I've been there multiple times. And that is why I'm having to leave. But I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a bit. I have something to do. I'll catch you guys in a bit.